Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Jasmine if you are new here and today we have these beautiful high-end thrift flips that are totally cottage core, so many florals and I can't wait for you all to see how they turn out. So let's get into the video. First we're going to start out with what I think was a cabinet I got at Goodwill for $2. It had so much sanding stuff on it like that was caked into it it was really odd but anyway we're going to start with the color crinoline from DIY and then we're gonna do a blended finish I'm trying to get better with these and I really like how they're turning out this is bohemian blue and I'm going to spray my brush and just go around the edges and then I will take prom queen and go all in the center before we do our second coat <laughs> Once this is dried, I'm going to go in with my water mister and douse the whole piece, not soaking wet, but you do want a light mist over it. And then I'm going to take the same exact colors, Bohemian Blue and Prom Queen. I'm trying to focus the Prom Queen towards the center, but if a little bit of the Bohemian Blue gets in there, that's fine, and vice versa. This is really where you can take your creativity to the next level and just do what you think looks best. After this dries, I'm going to go ahead and do a light distress, well light distress for me, before I put Sweet Pickens top coat over the whole piece after it's dried so we can add a beautiful transfer. Once your top coat completely dries, make sure it is a water-based top coat whenever you're using IOD transfers. You are going to go through and pick out which one you want now. I am using this peachy pink beautiful Flora Cynthia's and I, I'm so excited. I know this is going to pop with that Bohemian Blue and Prom Queen from DIY and just cut it out, see what you want to do. You don't have to use the whole sheet together, you can use different pieces. And I thought this is what I wanted, but I wanted to do just one simple flower and it's big enough and it draws attention and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to place it down. Again, make sure your top coat is completely dry. I am not going to put it on the raised edges, so I'm going to make sure to try to push it up against there. And then as soon as you start to see it lighten up, it's starting to remove from its backing and it'll start to adhere to your surface. It's also really easy to line up with these flat packs. So once I'm done, I'm going to add a clear top coat and then we will get into the dark and decrepit dust from DIY paint and this turns out aged and beautiful and so high end for a thrift flip. <laughs> Let me know if you all love to see some more paint techniques. I just try things out and go with the flow and I love recreating old finishes and I am happy to say I loved how this one turned out. Let's get into the second DIY. This is actually a free flip. Technically, if you don't include what I already have on hand, my brother brought me this vintage frame and I'm just taking a piece of a cardboard box and cutting out a backing because we are going to make this look like an old vintage, like super old canvas. And I'm also cutting my canvas out to size because we are going to use one of these floral transfers from IOD, this one right here on the bottom right. I think it'll be beautiful against the dark brown because I'm going to cover the whole piece with layered chocolate. I really liked the top detail of this piece frame, but it was completely messed up and I just needed to cover everything up. 
I'm only going to do one layer and then I'm taking crinoline super water down like I'm soaking it in this because I'm going to pull it back and because this paint is so fresh it's going to give it a really cool aged look and I'll even take my rag and dip it into the watered down paint and dab it all over the piece and we will get a really cool effect. Taking that same crinoline I'm going to completely soak pretty much my canvas and I just want it to be more of that tone than the actual canvas tone and also I'm going to take aviary because this is where the fun begins. I'm going to create a background and what's funny is after doing all this work for the background to kind of get a blended look I had a look in my head didn't really turn out how I expected but once I flipped it over I got the look I initially wanted to go for but once I realized that I wasn't getting there I had stopped and just decided to blend things out but the backing because of the way the paint was able to seep through and stayed on the cardboard and pressed against it, it ended up being really cool and looked aged and all kinds of crazy but I loved it and I'm going to let that dry after spraying some water on it I wanted some speckles and to get some light areas but you'll see here in a second how the actual canvas turns out Isn't that such a cool look? If you like an uneven splattered look like I do. <laughs> I am now going in with Sweet Pick a Soft Coat again, but this time I really watered it down and I'm really working it into the canvas. And this canvas is still slightly damp because I didn't want it to be too crunchy when it got done. But I'm just gonna place it over, see what it looks like, place the transfer on top, make sure I've got things centered and everything will fit how I need it. And I'm gonna put it on just like I did with my previous project and again I had to make sure this was super dry but it actually went on so easy and this didn't dry overnight I used a heat gun you guys but wait until you see how it looks because it is stunning and I will be making some with just the canvas without a frame here very very soon so make sure you're subscribed so you see more projects just like this and how I end up hanging them and doing all kinds of fun stuff because this is totally my vibes This last project is super easy. Look at the beautiful color of these baskets. I love them. First, I'm going to go in with a JRV Mini Grain Sack Stencil from the Grain Sack Stencil Pack. And I am obsessed with these and you can use them on so many different things. I'm just using crinoline and really making sure that I have a dry brush because it gives you such a crisp image. And I did it slightly off center because we are about to go in with some Stola wood flowers. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. This whole project was inspired by Upcycle by Brie. She sent me these flowers. I will make sure to put the link down below where you can get them and it'll be an affiliate link for Brie. So make sure you check those out along with all the other products that I list. I'll show you exactly where I get them. And you all, this is such a 15 minute quick, easy thrift flip. These baskets are only like $1.99 each. So anyone can do this and they turn out beautiful and they're so high end and you can hang them on the wall or place them against the shelf or anything. And I love them. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I upload every Tuesday and on some Sundays if I can. And I'm just excited about these projects and so much more. I have a market coming up. I'd love for you all to join me for more DIYs. And check out the description link below for all of these products. And these items will be up on the website Thursday evening. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.